Okay, I just want to give you a quick conclusion on how we wrapped up today on this apple here. Um, I've basically finished it. I'm going to show you what it looks like with my different layers on and off. So if I turn all the layers off, you can see I've got transparency. Uh, my background image was the uh, image I based off. It looks like I accidentally painted on it a little bit. Um, let's turn that off. Uh, so this was the paint that I put on as an underpainting, right? And that really fills in the gaps. Then I layered this slightly more detailed layer on top of that. And then I went back and I painted a slightly more detailed layer on top of that. And if I zoom that out just a little bit, it's actually pretty nice. Now, if I were to continue zooming in and doing even more detail, you can see compared to what I had to what is actually in that original photograph, I could have added even more detail than I have here. You can see the brush strokes are still pretty big. Okay, but if I zoom out a little ways, it looks pretty nice. Okay, now I just want to uh, show you again the importance of having that underpainting. So if I had um, didn't have my underpainting on, look how much detail is missing. This is my second layer, which had a bunch of gaps in it, and then my most detailed layer is just almost nothing but gaps. Look where I decided to put detail. There's actually a ton of little uh, highlights and spots here of uh, you know reflected light that are not visible because of the transparent background or like even if you had a white background but take my word for it this underpainting process really gives the whole thing some nice unity and really gives the apple some like visual weight okay so in conclusion how to paint an apple thanks for watching